Right, now we're into let's just make it work time. I've stuck the four neodymium magnets on because that strip magnet has just got nothing like enough power to do what I want to do with it. Um, this is one of those reed relays out of those LED auto lights, the drawer lights. Um, I've disconnected the rest of the circuitry and there's just the um, reed switch on there. Got my coil of speaker wire. So that was a pound from Pound World. The LED light switch, that would have been a pound. The neodymium magnets I bought off eBay. The purpose of this project was supposed to be using these magnetic strips, self-adhesive magnetic strips, but they're just useless for this purpose. I'm sure they're useful for other things, but I certainly haven't got the technology to make it work the way I want to make it work here. So, just because I want to see my bottle spinning, we'll set it up with the neodymium magnets and that little reed switch. Power on. Give it a little bit of help. That makes me feel better. I never like to have a failure. See if I can do a close up of the reed switch. You can see it sparking away there. <laughs> Just after I videoed that, you can actually see it's turned black where it's welded itself together because it couldn't cope. I've decided I quite like these reed switches now. I like the ones that were in the glass um, encapsulation that were in the small burglar alarms. But the fact that I can just give this little bit of a poke to free it up again after it's welded itself shut. Is uh, brilliant. <laughs> See we're up and running again. Welding itself shut again. <laughs> Come on, boy. Guess what we really need is a proper little back EMF feed diode or something to uh, take away some of the spark. 